As a Punjabi, I must speak on this. Farmers are protesting in Punjab and being met with incredible cruelty from their very own government. The parallels between the protests in India and what has happened in American protests is shocking because both sets of peaceful protests were met by large-scale cruelty towards their own citizens. Currently in Delhi, India, over the past few days, hundreds of thousands, if not more, farmers and families have arrived in India's capital to protest new agricultural laws that favor large corporations and disadvantage everyday farmers. The response to these peaceful and legal protests have been the Indian military deploying freezing water cannons, tear gas, and threats of mass arrest to the crowds which include elderly, women, and children to their own Indian citizens. Does this ring a bell? Let's get into it. Agriculture is huge in India. It employs half of India's 1.35 billion people and contributes majorly to the $2.7 trillion economy. Much of that agricultural industry is rooted strictly in Punjab. There had already been massive issues in the agricultural industry, namely a debt so large in the entire industry that 28 people who depend on farming die by suicide due to unmanageable debt every single day. The new laws could drastically worsen this figure. This law is more and 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 more. Let me tell you why. The government created laws that will increase private investment through large corporations. These same bills have been passed in many other countries before and have all failed miserably, causing severe debt to farmers and their families in every country these bills were passed in. For example, Australia. Farmers in India spoke about their fear of being swallowed up by corporate titans such as the Ambani's and Gautam Adani who are both known to be very close to the Prime Minister Modi. Farmers have been expressing that they feel that Prime Minister Modi is favoring giant titan friends of his rather than supporting the everyday Indian citizen. Modi's government has responded to these claims and the protests by dubbing the entirety of the protests anti-national which has become an increasingly common title given to anyone who criticizes the Modi government. This was the same concept that the Modi government used against the protesters who spoke out against a religiously charged new citizenship law that blatantly discriminated against Muslims. Shad Prime Minister Modi pull gaya on ke jade kisan ne te jade Punjabi ne ovi ta India ni hai gaye ne fir protest anti-nationalist kida ho sakdi hai apne mulk waste protest kar rahe ne these frightening labels attached to religious minorities in India as a subject to be covered another time but it should be fully considered when addressing the situation because of how closely the Indian government ties anti-nationalism to religious minorities despite religion not having anything to do with nationality or national pride. According to many online sources that haven't been verified, the Indian police intended on using stadiums and fields in Delhi as massive arrest sites, aka giant prison cells for the protesters. According to these online sources, the chief minister of Delhi, Arvind Kejriwal, denied the police's request because he insisted that farmers were not doing anything wrong by protesting and that he would not support the arrest of thousands of men, women, and children. This time, the Delhi police were in Puri Punjabi spirit, the field kitchen set up to sustain the protesters were of a stunning and massive scale, and it doesn't seem to be stopping anytime soon. Sadi full support, India the Kasana Nala, or terrorist Nayagan, or guns in Ilake, Gulf the Lokane, Gulf the rumors for Layo. As interconnected, responsible global citizens, it is now our duty to stay updated on all of the new developments on this subject. Click the link in my bio to learn more or to donate to verified organizations that help provide relief to the farmers of 